ஹலோ ஆல் ஐம் டி ஆர்வி மை டாபிக் இஸ் தி அச்சீவபிள் அமெரிக்கன் ட்ரீம் இன் சாம் ஷெப்பர்ட்ஸ் பரி சைல்ட் அமெரிக்கன் ட்ரீம் இஸ் அ பிலீஃப் தட் எவ்ரி அமெரிக்கன் கேன் அச்சீவ் சம்திங் இன் தேர் லைஃப் த்ரூ ஹார்ட் ஒர்க் இட் இஸ் அ சொசைட்டி வேர் அப்வர்ட் மொபிலிட்டி இஸ் பாசிபிள் ஃபார் எவ்ரி ஒன் சாம் ஷெப்பர்ட் இஸ் அன் அமெரிக்கன் ஆத்தர் ஆக்டர் டிரெக்டர் அண்ட் ஸ்க்ரீன் ரைட்டர் who has written more than 40 plays and acted in more than 50 films and even participated in television shows the bari child portrays a middle class american agricultural family which is deeply affected by the 1970s oil crisis and stock market crash this economic decline led to the higher rates of inflation and unemployment shepard draws the details of the play from his own life like Dodge Shepard's father is an alcoholic and like Vince Shepard left his rural home to pursue his dream. The 1970s economic slowdown led to the breakdown of traditional family structure in America. Every family member in Bari Child in some way represents the failed attempt in achieving the aspects of American dream which is prosperity, happiness and freedom for all. Dodge was once a successful farmer who is now in complete despair as his farm did not yield anything for years. He is immobile, sick and alcoholic who lives in complete bitterness and he was the one who murdered the child of Tilden and Haley, a result of illicit relationship. His traditional moral father figure did not yield him success but further led to the total destruction of his family. Coming to Haley, Haley's intense desire for his for her football playing son led to their sexually inappropriate relationship and this act led to the total destruction of the family and even though her two children are alive they are mentally ruined one being dead she engages in religion extramarital affair and nostalgia in an attempt to escape from her unhappy marriage Tilden one of their sons left the farm for New Mexico in search of freedom and autonomy over his life but he returned due to vague reasons and ended up being mentally disturbed and he is often treated like a child by the family members and his choice to leave and return shows his failure to attain autonomy and prosperity in his life Bradley who is capable of uh, probably running the family farm has lost his leg and he is unable to assume the leadership role due to his physical impairment and this makes his life even more difficult and as a result he takes his bitterness out on his family and even he has no autonomy over his life Vince an artist with beautiful and intelligent girlfriend leaves rural leaves his rural home to pursue his music career and his dream to play a saxophone signifies the modern american dream but he visits his family tries to reconnect with them and finds it horrific but is unable to escape from its pull he is eventually given the leadership role the patriarch role but at the cost of losing his personal dreams and sanity and due to these tragic events the family is unable to integrate into modern american society and it's powerless to move forward in time and find success thus the author demonstrates it is not that it is not simply that these characters fail to achieve the american dream but that dream itself is false and unobtainable for some hello i'm anulika I'm going to briefly explain how the play Bari Child by Sam Shepard explored the breakdown of a quintessentially American family structure and uses it to basically disintegrate the grand American mythology of the American dream. The entire play is just the process of disillusionment about the flawed nature of what America calls its foundational values and ethics. It is also elevated by being set against the backdrop of an important socio-economic event in America called the 1970s rural economic slowdown. America considers a traditional family and everything it stands for love, unity and partnership as some of the foundational values that would make the nation prosper. However, Shepard intentionally subverts this notion in a rather extravagant and highly exaggerated way. The family in the play instead of being caring and loving and united and being each other's source of strength and comfort are all in some ways damaged, broken, self-centered and vying for total control, authority and power. Dodge, the par- patriarch of the family, should have typically been the breadwinner and leader figure. Instead, he is an alcoholic and being mistreated by his own wife and children. 
the family's land and farm are useless and unprofitable one of their sons are disabled the other one had a failed marriage and is completely dependent on the parents currently all of these seemingly natural human instances of failure seems monumental in the context of the idealized nature of an american family in a capitalistic society it glorifies the role of the patriarch assigns high values to the outward strength of men and places material success above everything else this shows why these individual failures translates directly to the destruction of their family along with these various power struggles the emotions of guilt and shame and the breakdown of communication about these feelings conspire to drive the family apart shepherd dramatizes the highly taboo elements of incest and murder to increase the impact of the corruption in the family instead of showing a seemingly normal happy family and then peeling back their layers to show how messed up they are internally shepherd subverts this trope by making the weirdness and abnormalities of the family very blatant and over the top thereby making sure that his intentional intention of thematically using the breakdown of a traditional american family structure as a metaphor for the breakdown of the values and norms firmly believed by america to be as glaring and unmissable as possible thank you Sam Shepard deconstructs the myth of American dream and its ultimate expectation of idealistic family in order to achieve the so-called American exceptionalism. Shepard has sharpened his suspicious pencil against the American dream central point, the ideal family, and we can observe the disorientation of societal myths as they by fueling the disintegration of traditional family structure. In the Times Review, the critic T. E. Kalem says that Shepard focuses on the point at which The spacious skies turned ominous with the clouds of dread and the amber waves of grain without an industrial blight and moral dry rot. Sam Shepard is widely praised for his use of grotesque imagery, excellent fusion of symbolism with realism, which is later termed as neorealism, and his unique, strong character portrayals. The personal life influences on the playwright's work are conspicuously evident in various plays, such as his experience. of violent confrontation with his abusive alcoholic father he found his own theatrical niche in the experimental frontiers of new york's off broadway company which helped him to establish his significant position as a playwright his characters are obsessed with american myths and metaphors such as cowboys indians ranches deserts family of folk tales or religious parables and are thematically more concerned about american dream Thus, he successfully establishes himself as counterculture playwright, where he discerns the expectation on American society to behave idealistic when their own moral grounds are landsliding with more imperative socio-political issues like Vietnam War. A significant message in all his plays to which his characters add color is that humans are not in control of their own emotions, thoughts, or even personalities. In order to gather more familiarity of his plays, we can compare two of his most prized works which are part of the family trilogy the curse of starving class 1978 the buried child 1979 and true west 1980 the buried child is considered to have a macabre look at the american midwestern agrarian family with a dark secret like hayley's incestual relationship with her son tilden and her husband dodge drowning and burying the same child true west is a kitchen sink drama which explores the identity crisis of brothers the and austin don't draw in by the expectation of american dream these plays express the disillusionment with family roles pertaining to the post modern attitude it seeks a cynical approach to life by deconstructing the traditional values the french critic rene gridard in his book violence and sacred calls this as collapsing differentiation that signifies the bro- breakdown of traditional roles American social myths are central to his plays as myths in the context of anthropology it may stand apart from reality but societies rely on them to produce order we can relate to Oedipus myth which also involves the incestual relationship debilitating the moral coherence similarly we observe the inefficiency of these myths in restoring the stability as we see in the family trilogy unlike in the first play the starving class where the family wall collapses due to the economic changes and the other two it is due to the internal crisis of family values disintegrating from here shepherd develops the idea of social ideology as a curse which is passed on from one play to another from one generation to another 
the siblings rivalry in true west between lee and austin for failing to establish the persona of wanted son who fulfills the responsibilities resonates with a distinct rivalry between bradley and tilden in act 2 of buried child the disorientation of mom who asks to see Picasso is resonated with the character Haley, who is the major figure in collapsing the walls of family with her promiscuity and yet not conforming to her immoral deeds. We can also see that both are living in the realm of nostalgia to escape the reality which confronts them. The final role of alcoholic fathers, Lee and Austin's destitute father and the patriarch daughter are similar owing to their recklessness towards their family. The recurring tropes of American dream and dysfunctionality of American families or to a certain extent complementary to each other in both real and reals. The unattainable utopian concept builds the basis of expectations on families to be functional, prosperous and idealistic to secure the social order. Likewise, the dysfunctional family restricts the aspiring human to achieve the least of what we believe to be the romantic dreams of American life. Thus, in both the plays we see how the families crave to achieve the American dream and as well as the devastating mythical structures of society which burdens the people drawn towards the unquenchable destiny. Hello everyone, this video presents one of the American plays Buried Child by Sam Shepard. Buried Child was written by Sam Shepard and it is first presented in 1978. It also won the first Pulitzer Prize in 1979. Buried Child takes place during an economic recession in 1970s America. Though it is a work of fiction, Sam Shepard draws on details on his own life. It also depicts the fragmentation of American nuclear family and also the American dream. Sam Shepard is an American actor, playwright, author, screen, screenplay writer and a film director. He won 10 Obi Awards for writing and direction. He has written 58 plays as well as short stories, essays and memoirs. Shepard's plays are known for their bleak, poetic and surrealist elements and also black comedy. He often writes about the rootless characters living on the outskirts of American society. Characters of the play Dodge Dodge is the aging, dysfunctional patriarch of the family. And he is also an alcoholic. He is always emasculated by his son and the infertility of the fields. Tilden He has no purpose and direction in his life. He had sex with his mother and ashamed of his deeds. Bradley is an aggressive son of Dodge. He lost his leg in the chainsaw accident. Haley is the wife and mother in the family. She had sex with his elder son Tilden and gives birth to her grandson. She abandons the family to socialize with the Davis and revel in past. Vince, Vince is Tilden's son. He reclaims the possession of the house. He is not recognized by anyone in the family. Shelley, Shelley, she is Wynn's girlfriend. Father Davis is a protestant minister. Style of the play. It is a postmodernistic play with the mixing of genres, deconstruction of grand narrative. The play is set in 1970s in the old farmhouse in rural Illinois and it has a use of humor. In the act one, it is shown in a run-down farmhouse in rural Illinois. Dodge sits on the sofa and coughs while arguing with his wife Haley, who is an upstairs getting ready to go to church. Till then, their son comes with, an, with harmfuls of corn, claiming that he picked it from their land. Dodge and Haley do not believe him, as they claim that the farm has not produced a crop, crop in 30 years. Haley begins to talk about her children. In addition to Tilden, they have the son called Bradley and also the son Ansel who tragically died on his honeymoon. As she recounts their past, Tilden shucks the corn and the husks fall to the floor. When Haley finally, finally enters from her room, she rails on Tilden for creating a mess and accuses him of stealing the food. Haley and Dodge continue to bicker until she leaves to meet Father Davis in town. Dodge's coughing fits worsen and Tilden helps him to lie down and gives him some medication. 
as Dodge falls asleep, Tilden covers him in the corn husks and removes a whiskey bottle from the couch and leaves. Moments later, Bradley walks in and removes Dodge's cap and cuts his hair. In the act 2, later that night, Vince and Shelley arrives at the farmhouse. They are on their way to see Vince's father, Tilden, in New Mexico and have decided to stop at the family home on their way. Shelley is amused by the family, family's quintessential Midwestern home, but Vince is nervous as he has not seen his family in six years. When they enter the house, Dodge doesn't recognize Vince. When Tilden returns, this time with his arms laden with carrots, he seems to have forgotten his son. Vince tries to convince them of his identity, but he can't get through to them. Shelley finds a way to communicate with Tilden, however, as they cut carrots together. As they chat, Tilden confesses that there is a baby buried in the backyard that Dodge killed many years ago. Vince leaves, upset that no one recognizes him, and agrees to go buy Dodge a bottle of, whis- bottle of whiskey. Soon after, Bradley walks in and tries to intimidate Shelley and Tilden. Act 3 In the next morning, Shelley and Dodge sit and chat. Though she tries to find out what happened to the baby, Dodge doesn't reveal the truth. Haley returns home accompanied by Father Davis. She is terribly embarrassed to find Bradley asleep on the couch and Dodge and Shelley deep in conversation. An argument erupts between them and Shelley eventually takes Bradley's wooden leg in frustration. There is a crash as a drunk wind steers through the screen door. Shelley wants to leave but Vince, now recognized by his family, is determined to stay. Overwhelmed, Haley is put to bed by Father Davis and Dodge declares that he is leaving the farm and the house to Vince. Shelley leaves after Vince recounts the events of the previous evening. Father Davis comes down from Haley's room, apologizes to Vince and leaves. Vince realizes that Dodge has died and places died and places a blanket over his grandfather's body. Haley shouts from upstairs that corn has sprouted in their backyard as Tilden walks in with the remains of a dead body in his arms. Analysis of the play Buried Child The themes in the play is disappointment and delusionment with American mythology and American dream. The breakdown of the family reveals some truths about American identity like masculinity, personal desires and nostalgia. The family spreads lies to cope up with their shame of family secrets. Dodd's alcoholism, Haley's religion, Anson's legacy, Haley's sleepex with his, with his son Tilden, and the buried of the child. Throughout the play, Dodge remains a sick alcoholic patriarch who doesn't help the family. The play is centered with American family who fails to live up to their expectations and their family dynamics represents universal struggles that the family, American family share. Each member of the family fails to attain the American's dream like prosperity, happiness, freedom and also the race of the family. backyard with his arm full of corn he watches his dad cough when the coughing stops children put all the corn on the baby's body except from the head it is similar with the burial ceremony but instead of using soil children using corn from the backyard the second corn appears is in the end of the play where the corn still grows up in the backyard but this corn does not symbolize death it symbolizes life with death it gives the family hopes that the backyard which has been considered as dry and dead land can grow corn. It gives the family a new thing to be done. The buried child. In this play, the buried child can as be symbolized as many things. 
First, it supplies a sex affair of the son and the mother, which creates a baby and the shame in the family. Or in other words, the buried child also symbolizes shame. Other symbolism of the buried child is the ferocity that the family had then. This is the biggest sin that the family has then. They create a shame in the form of a baby, as they cannot accept the shame. They kill the baby and bury it in the backyard as escapism for the shame. Actually, there are so many symbolisms that the Sam Shepherd's play can be interpreted if we can look deeper and open our mind wider. By using symbolism in the play, it may it may make the reader can be more aware about nothing that has a hidden meaning or hidden idea. Also, can make the readers have unique ways in delivering ideas and the vegetables. Tilden keeps bringing in different kinds of vegetables that he saw he plucked from the backyard, even though told and highly insists that nothing has grown there since 1935. The vegetable symbolizes some kind of overflowing and abundance, hearkening back to a time when the family home used it to be a successful farm. Whiskey. Throughout the play, Dog sneaks whiskey from a flask that he keeps under the cough cushions. More often than not, Dog drinks ex- excessively and smokes cigarettes instead of taking his pills and trying and trying to feel better. The whiskey is a symbol of Dog's ex- escapism and his desire to run away from his own pain and suffering, rather than address it and heal from it. It is a symbol of repression, unhappiness, and unhealthy. If socially acceptance and masculine coping mechanism, rabbit coat. When Shelley enters the family house, she wearing a rabbit coat. At first, this coat symbolizes the fact that Shelley is a city girl, someone raised in Los Angeles, who likes wearing feminine and fashionable clothing. Later, Tilden becomes fascinated with the coat and Shelley gives it to him. He touches it and uses it to cover himself. Once Shelley is absorbed in the world of the house, the rabbit coat becomes a symbol of protection and comfortable. A soft covering that protects against the suffering and darkness of the world. Some of the strongest symbols in the buried child are relatable to the nature and the fertility and reinforce of the place central image. The dead buried child in the field, the vegetables children continuously carries into the house are one such symbol. Crops have not been raised on the family for many years. In all that time, the fields have gone unplanted and have grown over with a beak and scrub brush. Still, children manages to harvest fallow fields just as he was capable of convincing a child with his own middle-aged mother years before. It is suggested that Hailey was past menopause and therefore fallow herself. When a trust with children occurred, realistically, his office is nonsensical, but as a symbol, it complements his dreadful act of insult and illustrates his obsession with his lost child, his need to pull life from the dead ground.